Why now? Why did UBS do this? Yeah, so first of all, this was really one of these early morning shockers. You know, it's, it's the middle of the summer and we're getting these, these news at 5.45 uh, London time. And um, basically, I think what it means is that UBS had a close look at Credit Suisse's um, non-core assets, the portfolio it potentially wants to wind down. And they, they said, okay, it's not, it's not as toxic as we thought it, it, it would be. And then they decided to um, basically tell, tell the Swiss government, okay, we won't need your help here. And I think this is quite important also for public sentiment about, yeah. about this deal because basically the taxpayer shouldn't be guarant uh, guaranteeing a bailout uh, for, for this major bank. I think that's the sentiment. Yeah, because there. The, there was so much of that criticism after this deal happened to the point where UBS kept saying over and over again, look, we're not going to use it. We know it's there. I mean, I guess it's, it's not there anymore, right? Is that part of the point of this for UBS? Yes, I think, I think so. And I think it was very important for them to get this out of the way before they report earnings. They, mm. they report second quarter results for the first time delayed uh, until the end of August. So I think it was important to, to make that point ahead, ahead of earnings and now, uh, and, I mean, mainly also to assure, uh, assure investors, of course. Yeah, because like how much of the investor sentiment around UBS has been, we're kind of worried about the portfolio you've taken on from Credit Suisse. I mean, you know, throughout the past three, four years, we've seen so many bad surprises with Credit Suisse's portfolio with assets there. I mean, as you know, and um, I think it was really, really important uh, basically to tell markets now that it's not as bad as it seemed before. I feel like there's some bit of irony to this of, of Credit Suisse probably, I mean, maybe ex-executives now saying, saying, see, we weren't that bad. We could have survived. Mm -hmm. um, okay, what does it mean for the Swiss government, though? Because obviously the money here, the pot that was saved for them, or not saved, but the pot that could have been used, no longer going to be used. I think it looks good for them because I... I know personally that um, many many people in Switzerland, not just the government, were really disappointed with what happened in the, in the first half of this year, and they were, you know, their, their confidence was was shaken uh, by, by those events. And I think um, the, the government obviously would have had to take responsibility for for part of it because they they broke the deal, and now uh, not having to backstop um, UBS here uh, and basically the losses that, that occur, uh, occur from Credit Suisse, I think is a good sign from uh, for for the Swiss government. 